Last month, three downtown businesses were devastated by an early morning fire, and now all are working toward the future, rebuilding what was lost. One of those businesses, a mixed martial arts gym, has been helping those who come through the doors rebuild their lives. Q2's Brandon Sullivan shows us how. We begin in Billings this morning where fire crews battled a blaze at a downtown auto shop early this morning. The Billings Fire Department was called to the 1600 block of 2nd Avenue North around 1.30 for a report of a structure fire. Fire crews were still putting out hot spots as of 3 a.m. We'll be sure to update you on air and online as soon as more details are released. You know, just right away in that snapshot of the entryway, you could just see like, it's kind of like all of our hard work was tarnished for the moment. For eight years, Will Grundhauser built what he calls his temple, his church, in the heart of downtown Billings. Less than a month ago, in the late hours of a cold November night, it was devastated. Not gonna lie, like I, you know, built that place with my own two hands, so to speak. I filled it with all kinds of great equipment and memories and, you know, all my pride and joy, the things I scrub and clean every day were devastated. Really surreal. Despite the devastation and heartache, Will pressed forward wasting no time at all securing a temporary location for his fighters. You know, I'm not a, a what if kind of guy. I'm a what are we gonna do now? So I believe it happened for a reason. An accomplished fighter himself, Will specializes in the art of jujitsu and for the better part of 15 years, has imparted his knowledge, skills and experience to everyone who walks into his life. Many of whom struggle to find peace, balance and meaning in their own lives. You know, most people that come to us, like I said, they are damaged goods or whatever, but we give them a confidence, we give them a community that's not judgmental, you know, and we've got everyone from pre-release to doctors and lawyers and everybody in between that train with us. One of those who was considered damaged goods was Shane Fichter. I was born in Red Bluff, California, and I was raised in Redding, California. Um, we were pretty, pretty poor. I started partying and drinking and stuff probably around 14 or 15 years old. I started picking up pills and opiates when I was about 16, 17. I experimented with all kinds of other drugs. Um, fast money and drugs was pretty much my life for a long time, and it's all I cared about. I was uh, incarcerated when I was 25 years old for the third time, but that pretty much started my stint of being in and out of jail constantly. Shane and I have been married since February of last year, but we've been together off and on since the beginning of 2012. We used to sleep in the back of a car um, when we first started out. He was the type of person that would take anything. Like, it didn't matter to him. He would take it. Um, he would drink it. You know, as long as it got him high, he would do it. He was always this good person. He was just doing really bad things. She's my biggest, biggest supporter, which is, which is crazy too, because me and my wife have been through so much together when it comes to addiction. You know, I drug her through the mud for a good seven years while she also had an uh, alcohol problem. Um, and we kind of just like beat each other's dreams and, and things down because we were selfish. And then one day, as he stood before a judge about to tell him why he should be released into treatment, something in Shane clicked. He told the judge he needed more time in jail, needed to get his head right. And so he did. Like his ambition changed from chasing drugs to like chasing life. You know, he wanted to be better at everything. He sobered up, settled down, 
and gave he and his wife a life worth living. He turned to the Grindhouse, where Will and countless others have given Shane the community, family, and love he so desperately needed. I think that's what makes me so excited for the future is that now me and my wife are dwelling and climbing up together. So instead of being compulsive about, you know, drugs and a habit forming chemical, I'm now compulsive about MMA and fighting and training and getting better. He wants to be a mixed martial arts champion. He turned pro earlier this year and will look to pick up his second professional win tomorrow night. But in life's bigger picture, Shane Fichter is already a champion. He's been sober for four years, his wife for almost two. And together they're building a legacy for their two beautiful children. A legacy free from drugs and alcohol. A legacy that gives back to the community that he now calls home. Why what, didn't I start doing this when I was 20? You know, Why didn't I start working towards dreams and long-term goals when I was younger? But uh, everybody has to learn their own way, and I wouldn't change anything for the world because that's what made me who I am today. Brandon Sullivan, MTN News. What Thanks, a great turnaround. Mm -hmm. Now the fights start at 7 p.m. tomorrow night at the Rimrock Auto Arena. And a percentage of the proceeds from each ticket sold will go to the Grindhouse.